What's going on? I need juice. You hung over? She may have had a little too much rakia last night. <sighs> to Banya Luka? Okay. Only 16 minutes late. That's pretty good. And there's all this room. Haley. <laughs> We got into the city and now at the bus stop, it feels like we're in an entirely different country. I hate getting taxis. I hate taxis. I always feel like they're gonna scam you. He was actually pretty nice though. All right, we booked this on booking.com, not an Airbnb. It's like a mini hotel. Little bed. Little clock made out of like state license plates. Little TV. Got a little kitchenette. Okay. 34 euros for two nights. So it's like 15 bucks a night or something. I don't know, I'll put it down there. I don't have a whole lot of like expectations because I don't know a whole lot. So I'm excited to see more and get a better understanding. In Republika Srpska, they write primarily in the Cyrillic script, which is like the Russian alphabet. And while in most parts of Bosnia, they'll have stuff written like street signs and road signs are all written in, you know, three languages. It seems like here it's less so. So maybe brush up on your Cyrillic before you come here, which is actually fairly easy to learn. I should learn another language. I always feel kind of stupid. What are your first impressions of Banya Luka? I've noticed that they don't have any stray cats or any stray dogs, so that's been interesting. You don't really see women in like hijabs, which I guess is to be expected because, you know, the Serbs are Orthodox and not Muslim, but we've still seen a couple mosques, even like new ones being built. This whole city, maybe the whole area, I don't know, but it just feels like there's there's less wealth here in Banja Luka than compared to like Sarajevo. I just got like a chicken spinach salad. A lot of cheese. It's like warm. It's not it. Yeah, I couldn't do meat anymore. So I got grilled perch filet with spinach and potato. Also our like waiter is very unfriendly. Okay, pretty good, nice and flaky. Very mild flavor. Is it worth it? It's pretty good. It's nice to have a chain, no warm meat and bread. It's like the nicest restaurant we've eaten in, in a long time. Yours is better than mine. It's nice and warm, and the ice cream's obviously cold. Perfect. That restaurant's like in this castle complex. <laughs> so hyper. Hi. Hi. Oh, all on the dress. All on the dress. There's the cute. <laughs> easy come, easy go. He's zooming. Got the pants with a little birdie. Well, you are just so cute. <laughs> you are just so cute. You have so much energy, huh? Can you use a puppy? Maybe I think like so. A year old or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was your favorite thing about today? Seeing the Savior Orthodox Church. My favorite was playing with that dog. <laughs> We've only booked two nights here in Banja Luka. We talked about booking maybe a week, but I, we may not do that. The next day. We got this pizza cannoli type thing. I thought there was gonna be too much bread, but there's so much filling that it offsets it and it's actually really nice. Ooh, this is also a very thick boy. 
kind of nice for a change because they use the same dough it seems like to make brick but it's nice that they changed up the filling Ooh. it does look pretty this one's really light so it doesn't seem like there's a lot of filling oh, we'll say cherry very sweet it reminds me of a toaster strudel like how thin it is you're probably wondering why we got so much food so there's a monument we want to go see but it's like an hour and a half walk slash hike and so we don't know if there's anything around it that last one i might have to get another one before we go it's really good we got an iced coffee from fabrica coffee <laughs> He didn't want to hang out. It took us an hour and a half. So the monument was to commemorate the soldiers, I guess, from this area who fought against the Nazis and fascists in World War II. Apparently Tito visited this monument in like 1966 or somewhere around there and said that this was perhaps the most beautiful monument in all of Yugoslavia. And they chose the best location for it and that in a few years when the stone has, you know, gotten used to the weather, it'll be even more beautiful. Well, I think the stone has kind of gotten used to the weather. It's kind of falling apart. I don't know if you were able to go inside. It looks like there were doors, almost like there were elevator doors. If you uh, are from Banja Luka and you know, let us know what we're missing. I'm always so curious. I always want to know what I can't see. All these tombstones. The year of death is 1993, 1994, during the war. Hello? No, English? What are you doing? Oh, just tourism. Where? America. Bye-bye. Hey, we got stopped by the cops for the first time. Yeah, they drove past us. They drove past us a couple times. Yeah. The mosques here, the call to prayer is much, much quieter. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Than compared to the other cities. It's not warm at all. We're so far away from home and we found Mexican food, so you know we had to try it. I'm excited. I got a burrito or chata and some fries. I got three chorizo tacos. It's not the worst I've had, but. The woman who was working there was like right next to us the whole time. And yeah, we didn't want to offend her, but it wasn't good. Do you speak English? No. No? That didn't go so well. Graduation or prom or something? I thought it was graduation. Excuse me, do you speak English? Yeah. What is, what is happening? Prom night. Prom ah. night, ah. Okay, thank you. Prom was not like this. You didn't have the whole city. You had like little groups of who you were going to prom with and then you'd take photos at a field somewhere. But there were not nearly this many people. Oh, you didn't, you didn't go to prom, so you don't know. Oh, wow. There's probably more that we didn't see. Like we heard of the city's super famous for nightlife. But we're not really going clubbing or partying and I don't know, this, the whole country is beautiful and it feels like you could totally skip Banja Luka. That's just my opinion. If you're watching this and you're from Banja Luka, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm Team Sarajevo. Yeah, I still like Mostar. All right, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you tomorrow or something. Bye. Bye.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.